Okay, um, you are welcome once again to our weekly uh, market outlook and uh, analysis. Um, uh, today, uh, I will be talking about uh, the analysis we did at the beginning of this week and how they played out, right? The analysis we made at the beginning of this week, we'll be looking at them and we actually we see how they played out. Okay, as we know, tomorrow is actually going to be uh, NFP. Right, and that is one of the reasons why I plan to hold uh, the aftermath of this pair. Uh, I mean, the days that was analyzed at the beginning of the week. All right, uh, at the beginning of this week, I sent analysis, and uh, I believe you guys would have actually followed my analysis on that. I did an analysis on dollar index, on gold, um, on euro USD, uh, on GPP uh, USD, on USDCHF, on Euro GPY and catch GPY, right? And based on this, and that is what our um, the results I'll be showing the results. Then you can also join my Telegram channel to see how I entered and the reason why I took those trade and how they actually played out. Because the only thing I did on on the on, on the analysis uh, section or at the beginning of this week was just show you my bias and where I'm actually expecting this pair to uh, to follow. All right, so uh, I'm actually going to start from dollar index, and dollar index we actually show this pair was uh, let me show you from the daily time frame was sitting around this area, and we actually expect this uh, I mean dollar to gain strength for this week. And as you can see, this was actually what happened, right? This was actually what happened. Dollar has actually been going higher from the beginning of this week, and on the one hour time frame, you can see that this actually broke market structure. Now, I said it last um, in the last recordings that uh, this market is in a clear bullish uh, uptrend, right? It's in a clear bullish momentum, uh, bullish market, right? In one hour time frame, based on our strategy and our system, we know how to, actually how to identify uh, the continuation, right? Just to continue the trade, right? This break market structure then actually created an higher low. Then, as you can see, this market is going higher. Right, we took this trade from this area because we actually know where this market will go. You can actually join uh, the Telegram channel. You are going to see all this analysis in there. It will be posted at the end of today. Right, so that's actually for the dollar index. And with this, uh, from dollar index, we, we've made more than um, about uh, 150 pips, uh, about 150 pips. And, which is actually a very good risk reward ratio because on this trade alone, we risk just 10 pips to make that. That's actually about 1 to 15 risk reward ratio. Then on code, right? Um, let me share to the other screen. Right. On good, let's see what we have for good. Right. On code, this was actually the beginning of the week, and uh, I said that okay, I'm expecting this pair to go lower, and this is actually what we have. You can see this eye was rated. I, I was actually expecting this pair to come to this zone, right, to this area before it reversed. But when the market opened, all right, the market actually did not go as expected. But on the one hour time frame, it actually gave us a pattern in which we actually used to take that trade, right, on the one hour time frame. On Monday, it break this market structure. After breaking this market structure, then came back to retest this zone, and that alone gave us about uh, about uh, 580 pips right before it reversed. Even though as as, as stand now, it might still come back down because. Uh, but we we have already taken our positions and already uh, taken our profit of this pair already. Right, the market did not go as expected to hit that zone. Well, just like what I said, that method is actually very flexible. If what we anticipated actually did not work out, we actually have another way, another rules to take the trade in a method that has been taught. All right, you can see break market structure came back to retest this area, and with just about uh, 10 pips uh, stop loss that we had here, we you should actually know the risk word ratio that this pair. Would have given to you. That's actually more than uh, 33% that was gained 
on this pair, right? And the next pair is actually Euro USD. On Euro USD, uh, based on what I said, that I'll be expecting a reversal from this zone, right? If you can see the recordings, I said I'll be expecting a reversal from this zone because this pair is in a clear bearish market, right? On a weekly time frame. So on H4, we uh, we actually have a pattern. This market broke market structure in this area, then came back to retest this other block. Then as you can see that from that, we have more than 180 pips that has been given on this pair. And the only pair we actually have a challenge with at the beginning of this week is, uh, is GPP USD because when the week opened, it dropped, but actually consolidated. actually have a loss on this pair because it did not actually give me a pattern. Uh, I mean, uh, my setup was not fully formed, right? But I actually took it right, using uh, uh the 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 emergency uh stuff then this uh, actually came back to rate this eye then also it came back to rate, uh, to rate this eye even at this we are already in this trade on uh let me check the 15 minutes time frame this uh, uh this already gave us the pattern but more much of that uh on uh m5 um right on the five minutes time frame it took out liquidity with this week then actually break market structure then the market came back to retest the other block. Then as you can see from that, it has dropped for more than 90 pips, which has actually covered for the loss that we actually incurred on this pair. And the next one that we have is actually USDCHF. On USDCHF, uh, this is actually the direction I'm actually expecting on this pair to go. I, I expected that this pair will actually respect this other block, then go up. And as you can see from that, uh, particular zone, this pair has actually going up and it has given more than uh, 160 pips also, right? And uh, my, my stop loss is actually very tight. Sometimes I have a stop loss as low as one pip, as low as two, two pips or, or five pips or ten pips. But on this trade, I actually use a stop loss of about uh, of about ten pips and this already gave me about one to 15 risk word ratio as at this week, right? So uh, the next one is Euro JPY. On the Euro JPY, I actually said that okay, this pair is in a, is, is in a clear um, uh, bearish momentum based on, on on the weekly, right? Then I said that okay, I'm expecting this eye to be raided, but this eye was not actually raided, right? It was, the market did not come there. Now, when the market opened, when the market opened, just had a straight down, right? And this straight down drop that happened actually broke this low. Then I actually expected the market to come back to retest this other block, and that was the reason why we took we took this trade. And as you can see from this particular retest that happened down to this area, we, we had more than three hundred and twenty uh, uh, twenty seven pips that has taken place. And uh, and lastly, um, on this pair we have um, on this pair which is actually catch GPY. Um, uh, card JPY, right? We we said we anticipated that okay, this pair uh, on the daily time frame that this particular order block that got broken would be respected. But I also made a point that okay, because this pair is actually in a clear down trend, if possible, that if this pair would actually break this zone, then we'll be expecting to sell this pair. As you can see, this pair was broken. I mean, this particular level was broken. Uh, as you can see, it gave us a break in market structure, then came back to retest that other block. Then what happened? This pair continued to drop, right? And this at this, part, at this particular zone also, it broke this particular level. The market came back to retest it, and that was the reason why we have this drop here. So um, this, uh, as you can see, all the analysis that was actually sent this week, we have an 100% accurate because all these pairs actually go according to our predictions, except GBP USD, which later actually cover up for our losses. That shows that our analysis is actually 100%, right? Uh, that is actually not every time, right? This is not every time, right? This is not every time that, okay, your analysis will be 100%. Sometimes you, we are actually are going to have losses because there is no holy grand strategy. But when you know what you are doing, you'll be able to come up with a very good analysis and actually come up with that. All right. Till I see you in the next section, have a great day. Thank you.